welcome back. And as we said, uh, we are having a very special art session this morning. And we're joined by Yao Lin Li, who is an artist. She's a sculptor and an artist. And um, she recently opened an exhibit. And this morning, she's here to tell us about her work. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yes. Uh, well, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, right now, um, I have a, a recent uh, exhibition last uh, Saturday night was the opening at uh -huh. San Ignacio, a gallery called uh, Wildlife Atmosphere. Uh -huh. uh, and uh, uh, the painting is, uh, uh, will last for a month. Mm -hmm. So uh, later, I think uh, you are going to show those pictures yeah. Yeah, of my paintings at a gallery. Yeah. See, I do painting, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I what type of paintings do you do? Uh, I do most of it oil on canvas. Okay. Not acrylic, but oil on canvas. And I do a uh, portrait, which mm -hmm. uh, you see right now. I have two These examples. Beautiful. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. beautiful. Uh, portrait, beautiful. I do a uh, nude study. Uh -huh. And I do a uh, uh, landscape. Mm -hmm. I do plan there. Plan there means the outdoor painting. Okay. Because I go out with my easel, with my canvas, and I paint outside. Uh, quite a lot people, they see me, they saw me. Uh, on the highway, painting oh. outside. So, uh, and I do still life. Still life means that uh, uh, you put an object or something in front of you, then you paint. Okay. I don't work with pictures. It doesn't inspire me. So, wow. so did you say nude life? Yeah, 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 I, yeah, yeah. Oh wow. I thought that's what I heard. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's very um, in Belize. You get subjects. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah, okay. They're alive. They are uh, alive. Yeah. They're, they're <laughs> alive. Yeah, I know, but I know we tend to be a lot more modest. Very in, in, yeah, in, yeah. Well, we pretend to be. But yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah because uh, well, I, I, I went to art school in Taiwan yeah. and I went to Europe, Spain, and France. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's, uh, it's a very uh, normal and regular thing yes. to do the, uh, to work with models. Yeah. Whether with uh, figure, with clothes, or without. Yeah. Men, women, young, mm. or. Yeah. Um, it's uh, it's, uh, it's uh, the, what we do, yeah. I'd like to know about you. Uh, yes. How long have you been doing this? Um, yeah, um, I have three children. My <laughs> oldest is 18, so uh, yeah, I'm, yeah. Not before very, very you were young. 18? Yeah, before, no. before the first baby? <laughs> no, 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 since I'm like uh, maybe uh, very young, I begin to like to draw in the class elementary school. Then I went to art school. Mm -hmm. So all the way growing up, I've been doing those things. But mm -hmm. uh, learning, practicing mm -hmm. and doing what I love and uh, try to improve my skill and also find inspiration also. Uh, more I learn, more I do, I found that it's really, it's not easy. Of it's course really not. not yeah. How did you manage to make it into a living? Uh, honestly, I don't really. <laughs> <laughs> Someone is making money. <laughs> um, but I try, um, I'm trying, uh, see I stopped painting, doing my work for uh, quite a time because um, I'm a mother of three yeah. and I'm a very responsible mother. <laughs> and the last few years, since my kids, they are, you know, a little older, so I put more time in my studio. Mm -hmm. And um, see, I'm trying to figure out how it's going to turn out. Yeah. But meantime, I'm, I'm trying really yeah. hard. I think, uh, yes, we do have plan, the goal, where I want to be, but uh, um, I think the most thing would just work. Where do you want to be? Uh, where do I want to be? You mean the place or is the goal I want to be? Is that a little abstract question you ask me? <laughs> that is such an artist answer, yes. right? Uh, I like Let's it. Go with the goal. Uh, for the, the moment, place I, is Belize. That's where we want to keep you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, meantime, I like it. Yeah. Um, like about two years ago, I did a uh, 100 portrait studies. Uh, those are among the 100 portrait oh, studies. Okay. Uh, within uh, six months, that was 2015. Uh -huh. And uh, during that period of time, I know a lot of people. Mm -hmm. People, friends, bring friends and friends and family come to help me. And uh, they post for me. It's not easy, you know, they, they have to sit there. One session is three hours, sometimes wow. goes to four hours. Wow. Some people, they can sit for, like uh, um, Grandma Jenny, she can sit there for Is like three hours. Uh, she's a French. Okay. She's uh, the mother of my friend Ver uh, Veronique. Okay. And this is a French. He's uh, actually is a neighbor of my piano teachers. Oh. <laughs> uh, Small world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, uh, well, actually, I just I run into people and I ask them. Yeah. Uh, for you example, see unique features that you want to capture. Exactly. Okay. Something uh, our core artist thing. Yeah. Uh, uh, see a look. Yeah. Uh, it happened one time. I uh, I was driving mm -hmm. and I saw a guy riding a bike with a dray like long dray like. I can't help. <laughs> I try really fast and I stop before him. I say, stop. <laughs> Please. 
for somebody. <laughs> and he agreed. And he said, who are you, crazy lady? <laughs> yeah, his name is Steven. He paved the road. He's a really, really nice guy. Really nice okay. guy. Right now, his portrait is uh, showing at the uh, uh, Atmosphere Gallery right now. So, oh, wow. uh -huh, yes. I think you have a picture. Um, yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, we'll get the photos up. Yeah. So, you found these faces that you wanted to do portraits of? Sometimes, friends just bring friends. I don't know who he is. They just come <laughs> in and I just can't. But what if you're not inspired? What if you say, oh, they look boring? Well, there's two things. The reason why I did that project is because I need to get myself ready. It's like mm -hmm. a stepping stone. Mm -hmm. I wasn't painting a lot. Then suddenly I say, oh my, it's time to do it. Yeah. So I need something, you know. And I just work like crazy. Yeah. Seven days a week um, for six months. Wow. Yeah. Now I slow down a little bit. I'm a little. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> he can't even get out the word. How? <laughs> yeah, really. It's a, it's a really uh, yeah. quiet experience. Yeah. A lot of friends help me. I really, really appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah well, Lynn, tell us, what is it like to. You're, you seem to be in the process of wanting to reignite your life as an artist. Um, you, you've opened, you're on the way. You opened your, your exhibit last week. But you're also doing it in a country where it is a difficult setting for artists. We appreciate Belizean artists, but we don't always support them. Um, so tell us what is it like to do it in the context of Belize? I know quite an uh, artist, uh, not really personally, but uh, uh, Rachel Houston. She's mm -hmm. the first one I worked with a yeah. long time ago, uh, and then several. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I work a lot, uh, and um, everyone's different. I think here the art in Belize is more Caribbean art, yeah. and my is more. It's quite different. Yes. Yeah, it's more because I was studying in Europe. I went to art school, so I, I'm I'm very serious. I, I want to say serious. I focus a lot on the fundamental training. Mm -hmm. It's like if you play piano, you have to play good scales. Yeah. All the training. Yeah. Then you can go fly up. Yeah. And still now, since so long I've been practicing, working still, I'm trying to improve my very basic skill. Mm -hmm. um, it's not easy to survive as an artist here in Belize. Uh, luckily, I don't, I don't need to worry about you know, the yeah. problem. But I notice really not easy. But I, this is not a unique problem in Belize. Around the world, it's the same problem. Mm. It's the same problem. But I think um, one thing really unique in the artists is that they have this passion. Yeah. They don't surrender easily. Yeah. And that's magic. Yeah. Do yeah. you do you do you teach people art as well? I used to have a, a art studio. Mm -hmm. I give art classes to children in a DAO like uh, seven years ago, mm -hmm. and I did uh, had a uh, exhibition for the children. Okay. But it was too occupied with that, I need more time for myself. Yeah. Uh, I don't recently, but some friend they are asking, mm -hmm. uh, I'm considering, but not sure yet, because it's busy schedule with my two children. Two yeah. children is my, my own work. That's your priority. Right, yeah. right, yeah. Can I ask you, 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 may, you said you met Rachel Huchner, one of our Belizean artists. She lives in, in Trinidad. Yeah, I right think, now, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, tell us about some of the Belizean art that you've seen that really stunned you? Like, tell us, it could be a painting, a sculpture, anything that just wowed you. Uh, maybe I am a naive person, but uh, I try to be humble. Uh -huh. uh, it's a very different style. Yes. Uh, it's really hard to, 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 to compare or tell. But I do like Rachel's uh, watercolors uh, yeah. paintings. It's really nice, it's very free yeah. and very comfortable to, to look at it. Yeah. And those colors are really pretty. Uh -huh. And she is really a nice person. Yeah. I like her very much. Yeah. yeah. So, um, uh, I noticed many, many, maybe most of artists here, um, they tend to uh, uh, work with pictures. Oh. And uh -huh. yeah, yeah, I think. Uh, it's good practice to work with pictures. Yeah. Uh, but I think it's very important to train your eyes. Train your eyes yeah. to observe. Yeah. Because of the light depends on the temperature and the places. Yeah. And the time, they're all different. And the subject also reflection different. 
there's something you can't see from a picture. Yeah. Yeah. I'm still learning too. Yeah. That's why I work so hard. I need to, you know, achieve a goal. Not yet, yet, not yet. Yeah. Not yet. Still far. What's your favorite landscape to 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 paint in Belize? Sea. I love sea. sea. Oh, yeah, wow. yeah, perfect. Yeah. Um, last year Sunset. I had yeah, too, yeah. Too. Yeah. last year I had an exhibition with uh, two Mexican artists at the um, Institute Mexico, mm -hmm. uh, and then I uh, integrated into the gallery. Mm -hmm. The gallery is called El Cainito in mm -hmm. Merida. So I have uh, probably uh, thirty plan there uh -huh. uh, over there uh, join the group exhibition or the solo. Mm -hmm. As soon they will come back. And I might want to really to have an exhibition about the landscape, okay. plan there about Belize. Yeah, I work mostly in Belize City because I can't go too far. Usually, I use uh, the time when my kids go to school. Okay, I drop in like eight o'clock, mm -hmm. then I begin to work. So it's around maybe the the harbor, like downtown Upper Street. There's a sea, you know, uh, a lot of boat. I work a lot in that area, and also on the highway from Belize City to uh, Lady Vin. Mm -hmm. uh, I did several. Uh, my exhibition right now in uh, atmosphere, I have uh, like a six of uh, construction site. Those are the yeah, those are the on highway. You know, people fixing the road on the highway. Uh -huh. I was painting there, so I call them uh, construction sites. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I usually imagine her like yes. in the middle of the construction, know, and yeah. they say, "Please, ma'am, move out of the way." <laughs> uh, sometimes pay. people wave. Hi. <laughs> and, but there, yeah. there must be a challenge because, unlike a picture. If yes. you are painting yeah. um, the construction on the highway, people are moving. So some of that might be filling a pothole. Time is the key, key two element. Seconds. Yeah, time, time. Time is the key element. S so you take right. a mental picture in your head. Not really. I have no? to, I set up my easel just like this. Then I stand there, then I begin to look at. Usually what I do is I drive around. When mm -hmm. I have time, I drive around and look up the spot I like. Then they put it in my head. It's like a painting you see already. Yeah. Then I go back to that place when the time is right, when the light is right. But it happened one time, I went to the, the highway to paint. And after I set my easel, it became crowded. <laughs> yeah, well, okay, I begin to paint, then drizzle. And begin to rain. So it's a chaos, but still yeah. I finished that painting. Uh, Even with the raindrops on the canvas? I, just a, a certain amount of time, I escape into my car. Okay. So when the rain stops, I come yeah. out to continue to work. But sometimes I do work with my umbrella. Depends on the situation. When, when the wind blows, then uh, what I s no, 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 yeah. no, no, no go. <laughs> but with umbrella, yeah. Sometimes I just work with them. There, yeah, so. there, you, you were talking about the difference between painting from a picture as opposed to doing it with real uh, life. Re in real life. So what translates from, because a picture is, I mean, the quality of pictures nowadays is, is amazing. But what, is it something in terms of the feeling that you translate into your paintings? What is the difference? And do you think that it's actually visible in your paintings? Recently, uh, <clears throat> since I never did the uh, commission, mm -hmm. so I, I wanted to do some commission to have mm -hmm. that experience to work with picture. And I did. I had two experiences so far, and that will be the last, because no more. <laughs> <laughs> and what I'm still working is, uh, uh, is, uh, is uh, uh, a replicate of a lost uh, painting. Okay. The size is 90 times uh, 80. Mm -hmm. And I have to work with a little photo, not very clear, so I struggle, but I try my best. It come out good. My client like it very much. That, to me, not finished yet, because I struggle. I have like, I told you myself, I have to make it right. Yeah. It takes like a, almost three months. And you months. don't have the same inspiration the original artist had it when, you're, when, you're going, when you're doing a replica. Uh, I never do that. Yeah. I never, never yeah. do that. Usually I work from the life, whether yeah. model or plan there, or uh -huh. my subjects. So it is an uh, uh, experience, not finished yet. I'm still experiencing it. <laughs> Maybe I will learn something from it. Yeah. But mostly it's patient. I have to be really, really patient. Yeah. So tell us about your sculpting. Uh, this is something I love. Yeah. Uh, more challenge than painting because it's three dimension. It takes longer too. Mm -hmm. uh, last year I did two, two on the way and two finished. Uh, this one takes me like uh, almost two months to do it. Okay. And my mother, he, uh, the person come to pose for me and we work uh, every day for four hours. 
He wow. has a very oh serious face. Yes. Because he was suffering. You have to understand that. To sit still for so long, yeah, yeah that's, that's suffering. Yeah, you back pain, neck pain. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but uh, my friend, he, he, like, yeah. he's, a, he's a great model. Yeah, like he, the tight lips, you can see it's... He suffers. It does not look happy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, after I, I worked with an oil-based clay, mm -hmm. uh, I bought him from Taiwan. I'm from Taiwan, by the way, and I'm here for almost 18 years. Okay. Wow. Um, I, uh, I work with clay with my model. Mm -hmm. Then after that, I do uh, molding. Mm -hmm. I use clay, uh, use a blaster to do the molding. Then I do the casting. Oh, okay. Or casting and molding. Yeah, yeah, I do casting and molding. Uh, for the moment, I do blaster casting. Maybe in the future, I will do some uh, fiberglass lighter because mm -hmm. it's so heavy. Mm -hmm. So, so heavy. And it's dangerous also, so you it fall and it might break. Yeah. yeah. Or hurt someone or hurt myself. Yeah. Yeah. But I like the texture. Yeah. Uh, I really like the texture. Yeah. So, um, cheer up. It's not, <laughs> life isn't so bad. <laughs> So you also do sculptures as well. Do, are those a part of your exhibit uh, at Atmosphere? Uh, uh, this time in uh, Atmosphere, only paintings. Okay. Only painting for some paintings. Thank you very much. After everything you've told us, I'm so eager to watch you do your live art now. Oh, who is the model? I, I don't know. Who inspires you it, in this room? It might be one of our cameramen, right? <laughs> Both of you? <laughs> okay. Don't move, you just sit here. <laughs> oh, so we get, we get to show the misery? <laughs> <laughs> How long does it take you? Uh, we say uh, like 20 minutes. Well, usually I do, the size like this, I do like uh, two sessions. Means okay. eight hours. But today Whoa. we have only... Uh, <laughs> A lot less than that, yeah. So. How, how would you classify the, <coughs> the kind of uh, portraits you do? Classify? I don't really classify, I just do it. <laughs> what do you like though? You do you like when the model comes and they're serious or they're playful? I, yeah, or I have my studio, so yeah. when they come, uh, when they come, uh, I s s put them sit down, maybe on a chair or sofa, and uh, I put a light. I have two mm -hmm. light, yellow light and uh, blue light. Mm -hmm. So it depends on the skin color. Also the personality maybe. Mm -hmm. I fix the angle, I adjust the angle until the angle I like, until the, there's a light, just slightly things there, it's like a, a window from that person, you know, and I, and I say stop, then that, and done, then we begin to work, that's how I work. And it's then you tell them stay still for <laughs> exactly, yeah, yeah. eight hours. Yeah, sometimes they, sometimes some of my model, they can sit still for a long time, but some they really hard, some they, I have a friend, he's a, his name is Oin Crow, he's a bodybuilder. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he can't sit still. Once he sits down, he falls asleep. <laughs> <laughs> we try. Yeah. We try, but, uh, well. Okay. Is, is there a story you like to tell in your, in your paintings? Is there something uh, that, is there a common theme in everything that you do that you say, okay, you're trying to get to somewhere? Yeah, yeah. It's like a meditation for me. It's, very, it's a very selfish reason. I do it because I need it. It's not because I want to show my painting to anyone else. It's very selfish. I can keep it all for myself. Honestly, I just need to work. Now I feel peaceful. Uh, it's, it's like a therapy. I don't know. I don't need to pay money for anyone. Ah. I just... Strange, right? No, oh, no, 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 there's, no, there's a lot of I need in what you just yeah, said. I, yeah, I need it. I need it. Yeah. I just love what I do, and I hopefully one day I can make a living out of it. Yeah. Have you ever created something that was just too personal for you to share? Say it again. Something created something that was too personal for you to share. Uh, maybe poem. Uh, <laughs> oh, you write too, yeah? Yeah. Uh, recent and uh, many friends from uh, 501 spoken words. If you know, mm -hmm. yes. Keo. Yeah. Uh, uh, he's the first one I post for me. Then he uh, introduced me to friends from uh, 501. Mm -hmm. And many of them, they post for me, so I begin to read my poem. Actually, I, read my, I write poem a long time ago, but I never thought I can read it in front of people. So, um, let me concentrate. Okay. I don't are remember. We, are we distracting <laughs> you? Yeah, so. Yeah, I, uh, painting is more outside work. I don't do imagination uh, work. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I, when I write poem, it's quite personal. Mm -hmm. It's very personalized, different things. Yeah, so. When you do a piece, you're, you're, you're interpreting 
yeah. what you see. Yes. And um, I, I look at a lot of your paintings and it's there, you can see the emotions. Mm -hmm. It's I see from a person, so I have to observe. It's not I'm not a psycho, but uh, <laughs> it's, I just, maybe with my own way, you know, with my own way, but usually I keep it for myself. Yeah. Be because it's very personal. Sometimes you see a person, it's quite, you know, everyone's different. Some, they have really hard time. Mm -hmm. Maybe I just do one person, I do you. Yes, okay. yeah. please. Time is not there's enough. There's beauty and then there's a beast. <laughs> so I'm beauty. focused because we're talking and paint. I'm talking and paint. You have too long hair, that's why. <laughs> I could imagine. Don't move too much, please. Yeah. Okay. That's I'm the fine. hardest yes. thing anyone has yeah, ever ask asked me, me to do. You can ask me questions, yeah. Okay, yeah. so... I imagine if you sit and watch somebody for a long time, yes. you can see the emotion behind what they're showing. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. you can see sometimes there's sadness in a particular moment, sometimes there's extreme happiness. Yeah. Do you find that that resonates in your painting? Yes, but um, unconsciously. Yeah. I didn't do it on purpose. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's weird. <clears throat> I don't know. So you don't do many children? Eh? The uh, I subject do. has to keep the, the, still, uh, just to tie them down. My kids, they, they pose for me and I have to yell to them. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, they suffer. Yeah, mm -hmm. suffer. Have, you, have you had the opportunity to, to look at the local um, artists? Art, artists. Um, you said you were... Don't move. You, were, uh, you went to art school? Yeah. Um, In Taiwan, actually, not here. Yeah, we don't have art school here. In Taiwan, so uh, then I went to Spain. I keep painting, I keep uh, exhibiting. Mm -hmm. And I went to France. So um, wow. I, I don't know, just really good to know different culture and to make a lot of friends, good friends. Yeah. yeah so. And it obviously speaks to your influence, your European influence in your work. Yeah, I think, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But mostly I learned my basic skill from my, uh, from my school. Our school from Taiwan is a great school. Yeah. Great school, had a wonderful experience. Yeah, wonderful. So when you were a child and you just drew for fun, what did you used to draw? Cartoon, like. <laughs> uh, anime. <laughs> yeah. That was your original goal, to produce yeah. anime? <laughs> yeah, then I, I love C. Uh -huh. Sometimes I copy pictures. It's okay. a good way to, to learn. But I think after that, you have, we have to learn how to observe our yeah. You know, our, our eyes. You, you were talking about um, one of my favorite artists. Yes, who? Um, surely in my top five of these artists. Who? Uh, Rachel. Rachel, mm. yeah. Um, and you, you, you described her work as being free. Yes. Um, you, 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 were, you went to formal school mm. in terms of being trained. Do you think that has affected the freedom at which you paint? Um, it's like, for example, it's like a classical musician, you know, uh, you see a lot of jazz. When I was in Europe, I paint a lot of jazz musicians. They, they, they play music and I do sketches. And uh, uh, it's not easy to become a jazz musician, yeah. not at all. Mm -hmm. You have to go through a very formal classical training yeah. before you can begin to learn the good jazz. Yeah. That is the... You, you know why I asked that? Because I, I love art. I mean. Uh, you have to excuse me because I really can't, you know. <laughs> uh, you have to look at a painting. <laughs> <laughs> we My hand is not shaking. I was we were holding it against shake. you. It's not this shaking. is the most still I've ever been. <laughs> but don't don't put this on the TV. <laughs> it is on and the TV. Everybody's watching your process. No pressure. No pressure. But Usually I need to sit because uh, the line, so the face can see more a uh, uh, like a sculpture. Okay. When it's too flat, it's it's not easy, mm -hmm. uh, it takes longer, and uh, you don't really see that mood from the okay. person. Yeah. yeah. I try not to draw like a ch child, a little child right now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, don't be mad with me. I won't be mad at you. But, um, yes, in, tell in, me. In, oh. in terms of in the, the beauty about art, yes. is the imperfections in the interpretation of yeah. the artist. Like, um, there's some paintings where, for example, the proportions might be off. In fact, there's an entire genre, there's an entire, I don't know what you call it, classification of art, where you, where you distort um, the dimensions. You mean the abstract painting? Ab so abstract. Yeah. Um, so, if you look at the Belizean artists, I mean, 
you know, there, there, there is formal schooling. We in the high schools, we have program for art. Yes. Where we are taught. Uh, St. John's? St. At John's? SJC. Mm -hmm. SJ St. John's. Yes, yeah. we have um, some of the best art teachers in the world yes. there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no bias. <laughs> none at all, none at all. Uh, but, you know, we were taught to, you know, you do your oval when you're doing portraits and then you cut it in half for the eyes and then you cut it in a quarter for the lips. Mm -hmm. um, but I see you're free forming. Yeah, yeah Lynn is not even listening to you anymore. <laughs> She's just focusing. This, this is a very challenging this is my task. reputation. <laughs> you know, my reputation is not very good. <laughs> no, you blame it on me. I'm a tough subject. Everybody knows I can't keep still. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, I try to. It's the timing, it's the same for the plan there. Mm -hmm. The timing is very important. Mm -hmm. uh, once I overwork, then the painting is ruined. Oh. You need to get that right, you know, mm -hmm. then I have to know, start. But I think even for great artists, they still struggle to know when they should start. I was going to ask that. Especially yeah, yeah. even for people who are yeah. famous, yeah. they still, you know, that is something they have to, you know, control. It's a feeling. And we always hear artists talk about things just never feeling finished. Like it's not finished. Even if you give it up or sell it or, or yeah. Uh, yeah. it never feels finished. It's hmm. hard to tell. And art is very personal. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you like it, you don't like it. Uh, it's very personal. Does it's it matter right. to you how people interpret your art? Um, mm. Like you have an exhibit on, people walked around and said, oh, look at that, that's beautiful. She was capturing the sunset and maybe you were focusing yeah. on a tree. I, I told my friend I'm a very shy person. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, um, I try to respect everyone's opinion. Yeah. Because everyone's different, yeah. different individual, like my, all of my portraits. Uh -huh. uh, you have to forgive me. <clears throat> mm -hmm. uh, I think it's a, like a... a, a uh, when you see someone, you will know you feel it if we can be friend or not. Mm -hmm. You that energy. We, yeah, it's the energy. Yeah. Is uh, is uh, you can feel it. Mm -hmm. So people who like my work, they come along to me. Yeah. People tend to like uh, the other type, another style of work. They don't. Uh -huh. Yeah, I don't. It's like a religion. I respect all the religions, yeah. and uh, I have my own. But is it hard? Because you put so much time and effort, effort. into oh. you put you yeah. into your painting. You know what? I don't. Sh I don't. Sorry. Uh -huh. I don't. I don't care. I don't. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. You know, you said that already. You said you don't care if anybody sees it. It's for you. Yeah, it's for myself. But that's great. And um, I appreciate when my friend or people they like my work. Like made me so happy, like a little child. You know. Uh -huh. Yeah. And. People, I never hear someone say they don't like it. Okay. So maybe they just maybe keep a distance away from me. I don't know, but it's okay. <laughs> they might be okay with that. <laughs> yeah, I just, I love to work. Yeah. And accidentally, if I produce some nice work, then I'm happy. Yeah. Otherwise, I think it's the process that matters me. Yeah. The result, like for example, now this post is ready here and it's done. Mm -hmm. To me, it's, it's done. Nothing more. What matter me? I really just feel like I have to yeah. console him. Like he <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, you can, you can, you can see this scar. Not scar. You see when you the wrinkle in the face. Yeah. yeah. See, I see the wrinkle in the face yes. and the tightness in the yeah, lips. I, I, like. Yeah, yeah. But my friend, he he really he he really a very serious friend, and he yeah. calls for me. Yeah, I I really appreciate. It. Yeah. What, it's what, okay. What do you do with all your pieces? Do you keep them? Do you sell them? What do you do with oh, okay. give them away? Give them away. What do you do with them? Uh, for example, now there's an exhibition at the atmosphere. So I pick some I like, mm -hmm. and I put it there, and people watching. Okay, nice. Yeah, nice. Yeah, but uh, to me, I keep working. I have an amount of work at Merida right now. Mm -hmm. I'm okay. It's like a lost the children. <laughs> I consider they all my children. Aww. They lost it. Well, it's like imaginary yeah, children. I know. I have three real children. <laughs> <laughs> Can't get confused. But they meant a lot to me. I yeah. get really attached to them. Yeah. Uh, Sometimes uh, it happened when a friend, he, he, she liked it very much. I tend to just give away. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And sometimes if I don't like this person and that person come to me or he or she wants to buy the painting, 
I will say, no, sorry, it's not it's for, not for sale. sale. <laughs> yeah, because you have to trust your babies with, with yeah. someone, right? Yeah. 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 yeah, so it's not very good the way how I act. I have, to, I have to be more professional. Well, no. But I don't like it, you know. If, I, if you want to make a business from it, then you'll have to change it. But so what happens with the, the pieces in the exhibit right now? They're not for sale? Oh, they do. Okay. I have a price list. Okay. okay. But I'm not a very good businessman. So they're not buying through you, if right? If anyone interested, please contact Stephanie. If I'm <laughs> <laughs> These are beautiful, though, these ones. And I, and I spy another portrait. Let's see if we can get somebody to bring that one over. Uh, that's my outdoor, uh, my myself I look at the mirror is... and I paint it Wow whoa yeah. so. your interpretation of yourself can, can we get somebody yeah bring it over bring it where, 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 off oh there okay there we go uh. Wow <laughs> look at you I try very serious to, and somewhere there uh, maybe a little sad I don't know uh. something happened that day so. <laughs> <laughs> it almost looks like a masculine version of you Really? I yeah, don't know. Maybe it's a seriousness. Yeah. It's a, I was I was trying to play with the light. And the co different to colors, it, yeah. Yeah, to make it different, you know. It's not really different color, it's, uh, it's the light I it project to my skin. Mm. And the way how I look at a mirror, something like that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't, wasn't, that, wasn't that a bit unnerving though, to actually, I mean you're used to uh, dealing with other people and to actually be interpreting yourself. Wasn't that a, an additional challenge? Did you feel actual pre can additional ask, pressure? Can I ask you a question as sure. a reporter? Do you sometimes look at the mirror and repeat the... And the practice, yes. Yeah. Oh. It's the same. Okay. Uh, because yeah. I'm my sales model, I can work with myself anytime. Mm -hmm. It's practical. Uh. Okay. Yeah. And it's quite um, different though, so I think uh, a lot of great artists, they do do a lot of self-portraits self yeah yeah and uh, and even distorted self-portraits yeah, yeah yeah depending on style there are many styles my i won't say my i don't want to classify my painting my work to certain in a name but uh, my work's more like more like impressionist mm -hmm. uh, i don't like to do the things very uh like a realistic mm -hmm. it's not my thing mm -hmm. i need to i just try to capture that feeling yeah and the mood Whatever my model mm -hmm. or the plan there, mm -hmm. actually they're all the same. Uh, in the exhibition right now at San Ignacio, I have a series of uh, glasses, glasses, mm -hmm. uh, transparent or colored glasses. Mm -hmm. I project the light, and that is I need to. It's the same for the model. It's easy that sparkle from the from the object, mm -hmm. and that's what I need to find is the personality of that glass. So, um, yeah, it's not complicated. Wow. <laughs> no, that's not complicated no. at all. It's not going anywhere. <laughs> yeah, really going so, do you ha are your children interested in art? The uh, real children? Oh, yeah, real children. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, yes, um, but I don't force them. Yeah. But I do force them to do music okay. because I love music very much. You force them to do music? Yeah. Do they like it As now? As a mother. Because <laughs> you like have it. that power. They like it now. They're yeah. doing quite well. Yeah, my older daughter, Joy, she's going to do the uh, ABRSM diploma exam, piano exam uh, this year. Okay. Quite difficult. Yeah. And Amber is going to do violin grade 8. And Marco still hang on. Does, uh, he does uh, piano. Huh? Miss Gina Scott, she's great. Yeah. She's yeah. great. She's great. While Not you're painting, do you have music on? Uh, yeah, uh, when time? I was in Barcelona in, in Europe, all I do is the musician. Mm -hmm. But it's quite different style, it's more abstract. No, do you listen to music, music while, while you're painting? painting? Oh, oh, yeah. It's a part of your process. Uh, yes, very loud. What kind of music? <laughs> very all loud. kind. Oh. I do classical, uh -huh. heavy metal. Uh -huh. I do uh, Tracy Chapman, or <gasps> all kind of uh, uh, Michael, George Michael. Oh, it's so sensual, and Prince. I love music. <laughs> The tempo I really like it. Oh wow! Yeah. So, all kind, all kind of music. Do you know what I want to do now? I want to watch your paintings and try to imagine what music you were listening I to. I actually, I actually, I sent a video uh -huh. that produced by uh, my friend uh, Michael Vasquez. Uh -huh. He has, a, you know him? Yes. Yeah, he has a, 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 a production. A, right, yeah. right. Yeah. Um, Alawi, uh -huh. Alawi production. Yeah. And oh. he make one video of me. Oh, that one is uh -huh. showing right now. With the music. Uh, the music called uh, London Grammar. It was a little moody, the music, but I love it that moment. That was two years ago, almost three years ago. Yeah. And that painting, that portrait is showing right now at the uh, San Ignacio Atmosphere. 
-hmm. It takes uh, two sessions, uh, almost six to eight hours. Yeah. You so we're going to see the 10 minute version right now, right? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> yes, teacher. <laughs> it's not me. The producer is reminding oh. us. <laughs> You're going to disappoint because you can't. It's your fault. You <laughs> I, I told you, you, you can blame me. Say you tried to get me to sit still and nobody will I believe you. I do abstract one. <laughs> I do abstract one. You say you live in Belize City? Yes. The, um, the exhibit is... Um, San Ignacio. It's San Ignacio? Yes, why, a little far. Why, why that far? Oh, the, see... It's a chemistry between people. Mm -hmm. uh, I like Stephanie Willy. Mm -hmm. She's an architect mm -hmm. and an uh, installing artist. Mm -hmm. And she has uh, the gallery, the atmosphere. They do, she does uh, play also, fantastic play. Uh -huh. wow. Very, very professional. Wow. Really, really yeah. very, very good. And she has a space for the paintings. Mm -hmm. She's a great person. I like her. I love to work with her. Yeah. She's as fussy as I am, uh -huh. so we work really well. Yeah, and um, I like the way how she organized the painting. Yeah, which I sometimes disappoint with people who work with me, mm -hmm. but for her, I really like the space. It's a little far, almost two hours driving, mm -hmm. but it's, this is what it is. If yeah. I want it, I have to just go get it. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll and people and, and Kaya has a good art culture too. People yeah. really like keep painting. It. Please. Well, I think, yeah, they, they said yes. <laughs> I can't see it, so I don't know. It's, really, it's not something. good. <laughs> okay. I told you, you can blame the subject. We're fine with that. So this is just the base. I assume yeah. that, you know, you, you, in painting, there's layers. Yeah. And so you have... When I concentrate, they, yeah. they have layers. When I don't... <laughs> And you have very clearly said this is an eight hour process that we are forcing you to do in 10 minutes. I try to behave. <laughs> no, we, we, we like you when you don't behave, don't worry. <laughs> oh, I love these. So um, I want to ask in, in the portrait series that you did, did you try to capture like the different ethnicities in Belize and what was that like? Because uh, that's one of the things that I'm we, here. Yeah. I live here. It's Belize, it's not Paris, it's not Barcelona, it's not Taiwan, it's or better. any, it's Belize. It's better. <laughs> and my friend, they were Belizean, so, well, I didn't choose, but they are my friend. Mm -hmm. And they are the people who I work with, mm -hmm. and they are the people who come to help me. Okay. I really, really appreciate If I have more time, I want to mention everything go one of their name, but we don't. So mm -hmm. I just really appreciate it. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So they're telling us to stop talking to yeah. you so you can finish painting. Seriously? But we'll give you. I enjoy <laughs> talking. We'll, we'll, give you, we'll give you. But you said you're shy. <laughs> we'll give you three minutes to see where you can finish. I, I forgot where I am right now. <laughs> and, in, and in the meantime, of course, we do want to remind everybody the exhibit is still open at this time. Yeah, for uh, about one month. Yeah, for a month. So, yeah. So you can see Yao Lin's work. And uh, as you can see, she does some amazing work. She has these portraits here that we're seeing. Um, and uh, sculptures as well. And some of these are on display at Atmosphere in San Ignacio. I'm trying to see what we're looking at. I think I'm gonna jump on the Westland bus. Okay. Oh, I thought you were gonna say you wanted to go pose for one of uh, <laughs> one the, of, one of the, the sessions. I <laughs> wasn't gonna say it, I said one of the sessions. I think that's by invitation only, right? You have to be inspired by a person, right? No, for both of you, no. <laughs> <laughs> we we'll talk about it after the show. <laughs> I love to paint. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think it's it's unique features that attract you, or the challenge in trying to depict the person? It's the uh, it's uh, the the feature of the person, or the feeling of the yeah. person. Yeah. Yeah. Spiritual. I don't know. It just happened like that. Just a connection. Yes. Yeah. And sometimes I do force myself just to work at it, as mm -hmm. technically. Yeah. But usually I have to feel it and mm -hmm. to work. There we go, we have some of the images up on the screen. Please don't move too much. <laughs> <clears throat> this is like mission impossible for both of us. <laughs> now you know how, how hard, you know, for my mothers and friends. They really okay. suffer. I do understand. Mm -hmm. I say one day I'll make, wow, you, I'll make up to you, you know. No yeah, yeah. It's not easy. That's the portrait and the subject together. Oh. 
Okay, I think you have like one more minute now. I don't know what finishing touch you want to add. <laughs> <laughs> do, do people commission uh, portraits from you? Like somebody says and say, I want a portrait of myself, can you make it? Um, the, the show at Atmosphere at the opening, someone was asking if I can do a commission out of picture. Um, I, I kind of refused nicely. Yeah, yeah. Because That's not something you're comfortable with. I can do it. Yeah. I can make money, mm -hmm. but I suffer, so... Yeah, I understand that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do, you, do you have any pressure to, well, have you ever thought about... It's not my fault if I can't finish it. <laughs> 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 okay, I think I think we will allow you to stop there. Don't you worry. Thank you. So this has been quite an interesting insight into yes. your process, and you do have amazing work. We want to remind everybody that the exhibit is now open for one month at yes. Atmosphere. Yes. Are you working towards another exhibit anytime soon? Uh, I try not to put myself in a very tight schedule because I need time to work. Okay. I need time to produce and work because not all of them they come out good. For example, this one one. <laughs> <laughs> like a one out of five is good. Yeah. So I have to select them. Okay. I have to work double, triple hard to get okay. what I want. And I need time. Yeah. I really need time. But Belize wants to know if you're going to finish the Marlene portrait. You know, this is the this is the Belizean version of the Mona Lisa. We do it after. <laughs> we do it after the show. Uh, okay, so we're gonna we're gonna do we're gonna take a break. It's an unfinished piece at this time, so I think they're gonna work something out on how to try to get you to finish it. But we'll see. I like the abstract version better, right? That that's less pressure. So we're gonna take a break, and we'll be back with our wrap up. So stay tuned. Thank you. <laughs> For over 20 years, Great Belize Television, Channel 5, has been the leader in award-winning local programming. We have also produced some of the best video commercials, documentaries, and live events for clients countrywide. And we continue to offer high-quality production services to maximize your advertising needs for your business or organization. From concept to completion, let us help you achieve your marketing goal by producing your commercial, documentary, graphic animation, live event, or even designing your website. Using state-of-the-art equipment and experienced personnel, we can make your ideas come alive. For more information, come see us on Coney Drive or give us a call at 223-0146 or 223-7781 or email us at gbtv at dtl.net. Great Belize Productions, making great television in Belize. allowed to move from this position so Kevin you can talk. <laughs> Very interesting show this morning. Yes. <laughs> we want to say thank you of course to Michelle Shabbat who came in talking about malpractice. Absolutely. Don't move too much. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you, let me let me it's attempt to be the most challenging wrap up wrap ever. Up ever. So it's a very important issue when we talk about malpractice, and I think that uh, it is definitely a great eye-opener as to the possibilities that exist, and I love what he said about trusting your instinct. Um, if you feel you've been wrong, the, most you, the best thing you can do is investigate further. Perhaps you were right, perhaps you were not, um, but the point is, if you feel that instinct, follow it. And it's, it's, it's important, I mean, there, it, it was a win, mm -hmm for the young lady and a loss at the same time. That's so but, true. But I think that um, whenever you, you have one of these cases where it forces the public to stop mm -hmm. and the persons who have responsibility mm -hmm. to stop and assess what they're doing, yeah. um, it, it is a great day. And so for me, it's not the, the, the value of what was recovered. Mm -hmm. It was just simply the fact that our system is working. And even when it doesn't work at one in the hospital, it did work in the courts yeah. as much as it could. Yeah. And for that reason, I am very happy that um, she had a judgment. Yeah. On the other side, um, I think that the opportunity has to be there for those mm -hmm. doctors who have been doing well, mm -hmm. who have been doing due diligence, to, to look at it at, as a celebration of them giving good service to obese people. We need it. That's true. We that is it. very true. And I think 
because we very much love to generalize. Sometimes you have one bad encounter mm -hmm. and you generalize everybody. Um, all cops are bad cops, all doctors are bad doctors. I think for those who are very diligent in the work that they do, they realize that they will stand apart um, because they won't open themselves up to these types of challenges. So definitely um, great conversation. And I appreciate what you said. It was a win in the courts, but a loss overall. And um, I don't think, I'm assuming, but I don't think it was as much about the money as much as it was to have an acknowledgement that yeah. you were wronged. When you know you were wrong and you have it acknowledged. So uh, great conversation there. And then talking about flying fish. Yes. Not right. fish flying, not, not fly fishing. <laughs> Flying fish. I don't know why that was so difficult to come out of my mouth this morning. But, you know, uh, Milton Houghton is a man who is extremely passionate about what he does. And it comes across in yes. the conversation you have with him. And I really appreciate that from his perspective, he spoke about working together with people, that conservation is not about robbing people of their livelihoods or saving all the fish and neglecting all the people. Um, but about finding that delicate balance and, in between. Yeah, and you know, as, as, as he spoke, everyone has a different focus. Mm -hmm. um, for some of the fishers, they're thinking, you know what, I have a light bill. Mm -hmm. And so there has to be a, a more macro approach and yeah. view of what's going on in the country. And you know, it, for, for, for me, uh, listening to him, it brought back memories to, to um, the difficulties that uh, other persons in other countries have faced when they've taken what they have for granted. Mm -hmm. And, and this, th their mechanisms are what they put in place to safeguard us yeah. from going through. Imagine, imagine going to the, um, imagine going to the, <laughs> to the restaurant and, and wanting a nice sere and not having a red snapper mm -hmm. simply because we, we didn't do the things that we needed to do. The other thing I, I found very interesting as well, Marlene, uh -huh was that we take for granted, um, we, we somehow believe that things operate in a vacuum and we don't realize how connected we are, how mm -hmm. far these fishes travel. Of he was telling course. us that these fishes travel, some of them trans um, across the ocean. Mm -hmm. This is amazing. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I, I think it just shows the collective responsibility that we have. Yeah. Um, so great conversation there. And uh, lastly, to Yao Lin, who has forced me to stay in this position. <laughs> for about as long, longer than I thought possible. Um, and we really put you on the spot to do this live art piece, but thank you for being a, a willing participant in this process. This is coming together beautifully. And yeah, well, <laughs> as, as much as I can keep still and as much as she can break down her eight hour <laughs> process into 10, well, I think you got like 20 minutes in all fairness, right? Um, but we appreciate you coming in to share your experience. You do amazing work. And I think being able to understand just the motives and the inspiration behind your art has been a very insightful conversation. So we appreciate you coming in to share that. Thank you for inviting me here. Yes. Thank you. And we'll bring you back for another challenge next time, right? Really? Yeah. yeah. Why not? It's been fun. <laughs> I, I think we should finish this painting and auction it off. <laughs> and with the 1.5 million that we make from it, we should donate that to some charity. Yeah, you'll come out good in an hour. <laughs> OK. Sure, sure, sure. We'll see. I'm not disappointed. Thank okay. you very much. All right. Because I subject. kept too. All right. But thank you so much. And we got to go ahead and take a, uh, we got to go ahead and wrap up the show. <laughs> Remember, if you want to contact us, send us an email, oye at channel5belize.com, marleni underscore oye at channel5belize.com. You can find us on Facebook and watch the show. It streams live every morning. Uh, and that is at Open Your Eyes BZ. And you can follow us on Instagram for all the behind the scenes madness. That's at oye Belize. And remember to tune in. Um, tomorrow morning at 6.30 when you open your eyes to start your morning right. Until then, keep your eyes, your mind, and your hearts open.